Right here, there's several people. The place is packed. How many people do you expect to roll through here during a given weekend? Probably about 4,000. Mm -hmm. And how many exhibitors do you have? Uh, probably approximately 100 exhibitors and 8 to 10 uh, layouts, really? uh, clubs. What kind of rare and unusual thing can a hobbyist find when they come to your trade show? You pretty much expect to find anything. Um, anywhere from old pre-war Lionel, American Flyer, mm -hmm. there's uh, older and, and more modern N-scale HO. All the scales are represented from Z, which is the very smallest, all the way up to G, which is oftentimes run in the garden. Oh, really? Well, would it be great if you had maybe a few minutes so you could walk around and show us all the nice things sure. you have? Sure. What kind of um, class is this? This is N-scale. Which is short for nine millimeters between the rail. One inch equals 160 inches. And I like it. You can build a, a very nice, well detailed scene in a very small area. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take up a lot of room and you can actually get a good proportionate scale of train against the background. And so you build all of these. You build like the little trees and the animals and everything yep. like that. Wow, that's just a lot of detail. This one here started off as a tea yard. And we're, keep, we're keeping it as such, even though we don't, we don't use the back part of the tee, but we keep the front part. When we first put this together, we actually had it set up to show how it progressed from finished product to the very beginning, back to the basic um, module over there. Okay. What kind of scale is this? This is S gauge, which means it's 3 sixteenths of an inch equals foot. Um, what are your more common scales and why? what makes them more common? Well, I am, uh, well, end scale, obviously, because of the space requirements or lack of it. HO, uh, it's a comfortable scale to work with. It's what's been around for, you know, 50, 60 years. And then Lionel is what everyone remembers, or many people remember from their childhood growing up uh, and has been around the longest. This size is a little less common. There's another size which is actually smaller than end scale called Z scale which is one inch equals 220 inches, uh, which I don't think we have anything operating here in that size. G scale is the largest, as I said, which is one to 29 approximately, it varies, uh, and oftentimes gets used in gardens uh, to, in order to have an operating train that can actually run all the way around uh, back garden. Tell us a little bit about how you made this. Well, it was just, I wanted to have a module that had some activity on it. So we started thinking about what could be done. And I saw this building, which was a building on fire. And so I came up with the idea to build a module around that as the center point. And then over the course of about eight years, I've just evolved this out, added different things to have a story that tells something that gets a smile from people. That's the bat plane. Yeah. You see, the Joker just arrived in town. But see, this town, we've got Batman and Robin, but this is a three superhero town. Because see, Lois Lane, our ace reporter, decided she was going to scoop the competition. She wanted to get some aerial photographs of the fire. The problem is, Perry White, her editor, was a cheapskate. And he wouldn't give her an adequate budget, so she had to go with a low bidder. Now, you know, if, if Lois is in trouble, who has to be close by? Well, here's the phone booth. And there's Superman. That's great. Welcome to Calamityville. Oh, that's wonderful. We have a parade right here, and since we can't get the people to move, we actually have the street moving for, the, for us. We also have, if you can take a real good look right here, we have a merry-go-round, and the horses actually move up and down on it. I see over here you have a drive-in. Yes. With a bunch of nice classic cars in there. Yes, these are all 1950s style cars, maybe even in some of the 1960s. Most of these are uh, made by a company called Micro Machines. There are a few of them that are newer, such as this one right here, which are uh, the classic metal uh, series. And most of what we play on here is the uh, cartoons. Generally, it's the older cartoons, 1940s, 1950s. And another added feature on here, if you notice along right here, we have graffiti. <laughs> this graffiti was put in here uh, when this in module is initiated, and that was before I became a member of the club. But if you notice, you'll find different members like uh, Dave Girth right here, and uh, Jim Matson's a firebug, and little little personal touches. And it goes all the way into the back as well. Yes, it does. I'm a, a fan of 
being able to switch cars back and forth more of kind of like what the prototype would do instead of just run around in uh, the loop like the three main line has uh, that's running um, I did follow the N-Track standards so they would meet up at both the end modules uh -huh. but uh, I can actually operate just engines back and forth I'll uh, do switching of cars and I'll just bring one out and I'll spend my shows basically just getting some trains back and forth and uh, I'll make up trains, take trains apart, rearrange them. It's just a, uh, another aspect of the hobby. It gives uh, the public a little view of what the prototypes or real railroads would actually operate and why a purpose of switching cars to send them on to a different location. And oh, wow. Now I've been able to hook up the cars. I'll, I can make up a train. I used the outside line as a arrival or departure track because mm -hmm. those are the, the, uh, the ends will go out onto this out or inside main line. So a train can be made up. He'll come out to the area. There's a black signal, which is basically a stop and go light. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll ask uh, permission if I can go out onto the main line to run. Every person that's involved in the hobby, uh, especially our group, they'll do a module to their own capacity. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a different variety of ideas that are used, and it all kind of joins together into a nice operating layout. Well, that's great. You did a really good job. Well, thank you. Thank you for talking with us. You're welcome.